Hello everybody, I got another tip for you. Um, everybody's always asking me about how I get an image into Inventor. So like for example, I just made this extrusion of this gear based on this sketch. So if I go ahead and I edit this, where is that? Oh, I can't. Here we go, suppress that. You can see my original sketch. How do you get it there? So I'm gonna walk you through doing that real quick. What you wanna do first, find a sketch or an image that is very easy to um, copy, such as something that's nice, bold, black and white. Um, if you can find an SVG, that stands for scalable vector graphic, then life will be much easier. Otherwise, if you just use your snipping tool to find something that you want to copy, that's fine. So like I just literally snipped this thing. Make sure it's free. And then what you want to do is just go file, save as. And then you want to put that somewhere where you can find it. Anytime you're working with Inventor, you need to save all of the files that are going into your projects into a project folder. So I've got my Inventor 2023 overall folder, and then I've got this intro section folder, and I've already saved that gear. Okay, so it saved it as a PNG. That worked just fine to import it. So as long as you can get a screenshot of it and use that snipping tool, you can save it as a PNG. All right, since I already did that, I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to come over here to Inventor. And I'm going to find the surface that I want to place it on. So I'm just going to flip it over and go on the back. And I'm going to start a new sketch. And I'm going to tell it where I want that sketch to be. Make sure your orientation is how you want it to be. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here in my ribbon and I'm going to find insert. And it says image. So I'm going to click on image. And then it's going to open, ask me where I want to go. So this is where you have to navigate to your flash drive, to the correct file, and then that's where you can find it. You need to have that copy in the folder so that way Inventor can reference it. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this right here. Now I'm going to finish that sketch. Now the problem is, is that that's just a picture, and that's not even a picture that Inventor can do anything with. I can't select that to extrude it. Okay, so then what I need to do on top of that is I have to create another sketch and then I have to use my tools available to trace it. Okay, so right now I'm just going to crudely make a couple of circles. And then I'm going to use my line tool to start connecting some dots. Okay, so this might be a little tedious and you have to make sure that if you're creating these closed shapes, like, let me just mess it up for you. Like if I do that, you see how the line tool drops, but I have this little line extending out. That means it didn't end and terminate at a point. You see how it terminated right there? Okay, the reason that, that makes a difference is that if it is not a closed shape, it will not properly extrude. So if you have some shape like this, you can trace around the outside. You can use primitive shapes such as squares, rectangles, and circles to try and make most of the shape, and then just use your line tool to connect the dots, and then use your trim tool to cut away sections that are not necessary. Ah, and remember, Control Z is your best friend. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and Connect your dots to make a closed shape. And once you have your closed shape, if I go ahead and finish that other sketch, then I can actually come back here. And right here, if I right click my other sketch, I can say edit sketch. And then you should be able to see my sketch that I made. Okay, so that lighting up in green right now is the sketch that I made on that sketch. Actually, that's the sketch I made. 
it was consumed by the extrusion. So that's the sketch that I traced around the gear. And then, um, unsuppress. That's my feature of my extrusion. Now, I brought it out because um, if I pushed it in, the black of the picture covered it up. So keep that in mind that that picture is on that surface and it might be a 2D image covering a 3D feature. Let me just show you what I mean by that. Edit feature. Instead of bringing it up, I'm going to cut and I'm going to go downward or go the opposite way. So you see how it's red in there? I'm going to click OK. And now where did my feature go? It is gone. It is not gone. It's just hidden. And if I suppress this or turn the visibility off on it, now you can actually see it. Okay. So hopefully this helps you out. If you want to import a image into your keychain or anything else, um, you can go ahead and use that to help you out. Um, take care.